everyone, in this guide we are talking about creating spreadsheets that sell and what is going to make your spreadsheet desirable and that's function and design. Now these two things are really going to grab the attention of the people looking to get to spreadsheets. The reason being is that design is going to grab their attention. They're hopefully going to see the gorgeous mock-ups you've made of your spreadsheet and they're going to want to get their hands on it. While function on the other hand we may think is a boring thing but it actually solves a lot of their problems and makes things more efficient and streamlined. Function can also tie into the visual representation of your spreadsheet, especially with dashboards. Before we dive in any further, I should introduce myself. My name is Melinda from Spreadsheetable, and today we're going to be going through function and design of spreadsheets. Now, this is part of a series we've created on creating and listing your very first spreadsheet to sell. So this video today is going to give you a high-level overview of the design and function that we can integrate into our spreadsheets. We would love if you take one or all of these ideas and combine them into one spreadsheet. But just remember, if you're starting out, simple is best. We all want to be able to create those spreadsheets with multiple dashboards and 20 different tabs, but if this is your first Google Sheet that you're creating, stick to something simple even just a checklist. You want to get that checklist completed and listed so that you can go through that whole process of selling and it's going to boost your confidence if you can put up something a little bit quicker than doing a very complex spreadsheet. By sticking to a simple spreadsheet, you'll have that satisfaction of being able to complete something pretty quickly and getting it listed. If you're feeling frustrated over a spreadsheet, Put a pause on that and take a couple steps back and try something simpler first. Now let's dive in and look at some of that function and design we can incorporate into our spreadsheets. Now in terms of function, here are some ideas that you can incorporate into your spreadsheet. We'll first talk about some of these and then we'll go into some spreadsheets and show you some examples. In terms of function, we can incorporate formulas, conditional formatting, checkboxes, charts, sparklines, drop downs and data validation. If you're just starting out, you might want to stick with checkboxes, playing a little bit with conditional formatting and maybe some drop downs. Once you're comfortable with that, try incorporating some sparklines or charts and then incorporating more complex formulas that integrate multiple tabs in your worksheet. Now in terms of the design of the spreadsheet, using any of these features is a really great way to make your spreadsheet beautiful while not having to worry about really complex formulas. I have some examples for you here on the screen where we're using color and clip art and emojis to add an element of fun to our spreadsheets. Some of these examples here I have on the screen are actually really simple spreadsheets. They're very basic, but the way we've incorporated color, clip art, fonts, and emojis really elevates these spreadsheets and makes them worthy of selling. So let's dive in and look at some specific example. This one here is a checklist and this is where we'd love to see you start if you haven't ventured into Google Sheets. This is laid out simply by putting a heading up above a list and then putting these checkboxes in place. And if you want to see how to put these checkboxes in place, let's delete this one and we're going to go to insert and checkbox and it's as easy as that. Now once you're comfortable with that, you can try some conditional formatting where the text will cross off when we've checked off these checkboxes. To do that, we're gonna click on the first cell in our list and we're gonna go to format and conditional formatting. We're gonna add a rule. We're going to go to format rules and we're gonna click on custom formula is. Now in here, we're gonna say equals and we're going to say that this cell, so B9, is equal to true. Now when we talk about true with a checkbox, it means that the checkbox is checked. So when B9 is checked, we want this to happen down here, this formatting style. So you can see right now, if I click on here, it's going to turn it green and that's the formatting style that it's on right now. Now say we want the text to be crossed off instead, I'm gonna click this and maybe I'll take the color off of it. Now you can see when this is checked, it's crossed off and unchecked it is not crossed off. We could even say that we want the text color to go lighter when this happens. Now, if you want to apply that formatting all the way down, I'm going to copy and I'm gonna highlight the rest of it and right click and select paste special and select conditional formatting only and it's gonna apply it to the rest of them. So that's an easy way to make your checklist a little bit more fun. Now we're gonna add some color so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to highlight all of these cells and I'm going to the fill color and I'll just fill it in and I'll take the color away from these cells here so it stands out. And there's your simple checklist that you can do. Another way of elevating your spreadsheets is just adding a clip art. So if you see if I click on this, this is movable. It's just an image that I've 
um, put into the checklist. To put images in, you're just going to go to insert image and then this one is insert image over cells and then you can just browse your computer and put something in. I love adding clip art because again, if you're not skilled with complex formulas, putting in fun clip art just really elevates that spreadsheet. It can also be really appealing to kids and homeschooling programs and family oriented spreadsheets. Now, once you've mastered checklists, you can incorporate charts into your spreadsheets. This is a daily cleaning schedule, which does have the checklist we learned about, but it also has charts at the bottom. Now the information hiding for these charts are in row 14 and 15. So if I click on this cell here, you can see it has the formula counting if the cells are true for where these checkboxes are. Same thing with row 15, but it's counting which ones are false or which ones are empty for the checkboxes. Now we can recreate one of these charts just by highlighting these two cells and going to insert, chart, and you'll see a column chart pops up and this chart editor on the far right comes up. Now I'm gonna change the chart type. I'm gonna click here and go to pie and under here we can change it to donut chart. Now once we have that, we can change the color. So I'm gonna to go to customize and I'm gonna to go to pie slice and change the color here to whatever color we would like. Another cool way to show progress is these spark lines. And I'll show you how these work. If I open this and start checking off these check boxes, it's going to fill in this progress bar. So it's a great visual to see if you're on track for your project. Okay, so that was just a glimpse of some of the things that we can do with Google Sheets. Of course, I have a ton of other really cool stuff to show you, but I wanted to keep this video really simple, especially if you're starting out. We can be excited to dive into all the different features but if you're ready to start selling, you want to keep it easy for your first couple, get comfortable on creating and preparing your spreadsheet to sell and listing it. Once you get comfortable with the process, you can start integrating more complexities into your spreadsheets, which your customers are going to love for the design and function of it. Now in our next quick video that we're going to offer you, we are covering how to prepare your sheet to sell because there's a few steps involved with that and we want you guys to be super prepared and be able to deliver your spreadsheets so that you have happy customers.